Well, sexuality is the one thing that every human being has in common. Everybody has a sexuality, and no matter what people say in public, everyone wants to make their peace with it in private. They want, everyone would like sex to be happy for them. Our culture puts a lot of roadblocks up to uh, people being able to develop and create a happy sexual expression for themselves. Women don't devote their time or money to sexuality. They don't prioritize it. They just don't say firsthand, like, wow, sexuality is something that we all have, that we all must prioritize. I'm going to go out and do something about that. All of the writers and all the editors that work on Fabula were facilitating the discussion for women's sexuality. We are taught from the time we're born that women are sexual. The sooner that they claim their sexuality and explore it, the safer they are, then there's only so far we can get as a culture until women are given equal billing as sexual, as sexual beings. There's definitely a myth that's fairly common that women don't like sex, that women aren't sexually aggressive, that women aren't sexually assertive, that they like sex as part of love, but not by itself. The only way I can really answer that is look around you, talk to some women. I'm the buyer for Blowfish as well as being the general manager. Blowfish began in 1994 as a small mom and pop company. I was the company's first employee and we were just working out of the back of the founder's apartment who we were married at the time and since that time has grown into a million dollar a year business which has really kind of taken us all by surprise. They saw sort of a gap in the sex product business. There were all these companies that sold sleazy, not very high quality, mass market stuff. People wanted stuff that was more aware of the female audience, more attractive presentation, but who didn't want the tacky, sleazy type of product. We wonder, is this something that women are gonna like? Is this something that men are gonna like? Is this something women and men might enjoy together? And that's the hole that Blowfish has filled to a great extent. I see the world as a feminist, bred in the bone and in the blood. It influences the whole way I see the sex industry, including the porn industry and the sex toy industry and the erotic book industry. Feminism taught me all body parts, all erogenous zones, all sex acts, all fantasies were fair game. And it just expanded my whole notion of sex. So part of my hook in the beginning was being a feminist porn star. I mean, I was self-identified as a feminist from the very first day I ever made a movie. And I know that made a lot of people scared of me. Oh my God, man hating dyke, eek! But I still knew that that's what I was. I wasn't going to hide behind it. And being a feminist did not mean you automatically hated men. Even when I was, you know, just the third actress on the left because I was new, I always knew that the feminist had a right to this life. I had a right to my sexuality. My sexuality included exhibitionism.